What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we are going to be looking at how to wire two single voice coil 2 ohm subwoofers. Now the most popular wiring configuration for two subs like this is parallel wiring, so let me show you that first, but first let's check the resting impedance at each terminal. Got my multimeter, all I'm gonna do is take my probes, positive goes into the positive terminal, negative goes into the negative terminal. You can see that it is fluttering right around 2.1 and 2.0, which is what we would consider a 2 ohm impedance. Check the next one, positive into positive, negative into negative. You can see the same thing, it's fluttering right around 2.1 and 2.0, which is a two ohm impedance. Now parallel wiring is very, very straightforward. Basically what you do is you go from the positive terminal of one sub to the positive terminal of the next sub, and then directly into the positive terminals on your amplifier, and then the same thing with the negative terminal. So you're going from negative to negative, straight into the negative terminals on your amplifier or enclosure. So let me show you how to do that right now. So the first thing I need, is some speaker wire to connect the subwoofers. I'm going to take my negative end, I'm going to put it right into the negative terminal on this sub, I'm going to take my positive end and go directly into the positive terminal. Once you have a nice and secure connection, you're then going to go into the next subwoofer, but before you do that, what you actually need to do is take your speaker wire leads that are on your enclosure. These speaker wire leads are connected directly to the terminal on the side of my enclosure over there. Because remember, you're putting your subwoofers in the enclosure and then they need a way to get to your amplifier. So the easiest way to do that is to run your speaker wire leads directly to the terminals on the side of the enclosure and then wire your subwoofers directly to that. So I have my cable that is connecting this sub to this sub. Before I go directly into the terminals on this sub, I need to take my speaker wire enclosure leads and I need to twist them together. So I'm twisting the positive wires together and then I'm gonna twist the negative wires together. And this is just so that I can parallel the whole way through positive to positive, negative to negative. Then once I have my speaker wired lead terminals connected to the other cable, then I can go into this subwoofer. So I'm going positive into positive and negative into negative. But basically what I have is a parallel chain all the way through. So from the positive of this subwoofer to the positive of this subwoofer to the positive terminals, negative to negative to negative terminals on the side of my enclosure. So now what you would send to the amplifier is a speaker wire run from the side of the enclosure to your amplifier. So positive speaker wire to the positive terminal on your amplifier, negative speaker wire from the negative terminal on this enclosure to the negative terminal on your amplifier. So now when you parallel two single voice coil, two ohm subwoofers, you are going to get a final impedance of one ohm. That's the impedance that the amplifier is going to see. And I can check that really quick just by using my multimeter and plugging it directly into the terminals on the side of the enclosure because everything's parallel wired. So I can take my multimeter, I'm gonna run positive probe, the negative probe, and you can see it fluctuate right by 1.1, 1.0, and that is what we would consider a one ohm impedance, and that is what the amplifier is going to see. So now it's very important to match your subwoofers with the proper amp. So when you have your subs wired in this configuration, you can use any amp that is capable of running the subs rated powers at one ohm. The most common option is to use a one ohm stable monoblock amplifier. Let's talk about something else that's important to note. So some dual enclosure boxes actually have two sets of terminals on each side. And then on top of that, some mono amplifiers actually have two sets of terminals that you can wire each subwoofer directly to, and then it will parallel at the amp itself. If you have an amp like this, it'll actually give you an easier option in how you can wire your subwoofers directly to your amplifier. So for example, if you have this setup with two subwoofers, a dual enclosure box with two sets of terminals, and then a mono amplifier that also has two sets of subwoofer wiring terminals, this is how you would do it. So instead of running a connection cable from one sub to the next to parallel it, all you would actually do is go directly from your terminal leads right into each subwoofer. So for this side of terminals, I would take my speaker wire leads, go directly into my subwoofer, and then I would do the same exact thing for this subwoofer. So from this set of terminals, the speaker wire leads, I would run directly into the subwoofer. And then what I would do is from each set of my enclosure terminals, I would run them into the individual terminals on my amplifier. So my amplifier would also have two sets of terminals that I could run into, and I would go directly from my enclosures into them. So I could actually double check. So if I check the resting impedance at each of these terminals, they should each be two ohm. 
So you can see for this side of the terminals, it's two ohms. And then for this side of terminals, it is also two ohms. And then once you run the two speaker wires from each terminal set to the terminal sets on your amplifier, that's where the parallel is gonna happen and it's gonna bring it down to a one ohm load. Now there is another configuration that you can do with two subwoofers like this. It's not as common as parallel wiring, but that's series configuration. I can show you the wiring diagram right here. And let me show you how to do it right now. With series configuration, it's actually going to bring your final impedance to a four ohm load. What you have to do is first take a jumper cable. So it's just speaker wire. And what we're going to do is on one subwoofer, we're going to go from the negative terminal. And then on my other subwoofer, I'm actually going to go into the positive terminal. So from the negative terminal of one sub into the positive terminal on the next subwoofer. And then what you're going to do is take your speaker wire leads from your enclosure box. So I have my speaker wire leads from my enclosure box. This is leading to this terminal. You're going to take your positive speaker wire lead and run it into the positive terminal on this subwoofer. And then you're going to take your negative speaker wire lead and run it into the open negative terminal on the other subwoofer. And then if I check my impedance at this terminal, it should be four ohms. So I can take my probe. You can see it fluctuates right between 3.9 and 4.0, which is a four ohm impedance. And then you would just run speaker wire from this set of terminals right into your positive and negative terminals on your amplifier. Now, when you have your subwoofers wired in this series configuration, you can use any amplifier that's capable of running the subwoofer's rated power at four ohms. A very common option is to use a two channel amp in bridge mode. But another great option is to use a two ohm stable monoblock amplifier that can run the sub's rated power or more at four ohms. Now, when you use this option, you're actually going to run your amp cooler and with more efficiency, which is going to save your car's battery. You will also hear increased sound quality because your amp is running so cool. I hope you guys found this video helpful on how to wire two single voice coil, two ohm subwoofers. But again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.